what up? Big Herc 916. And here comes the chicken, the watermelon, and the butter biscuits. You may ask, what are those things? Big Herc, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Chicken, watermelon, and butter biscuits. Well, that's what they used to get the slaves, man. That's what they used to get the slaves after they got through whooping their ass. After they finished punishing them, but then wanted them to come back and love them, to worship them, to feel some type of uh, empathy. Here you go. And that's the same shit they used to give dudes in prison after a lockdown. Chicken, watermelon, butter biscuits. Ask any of the homies who did time. They'll tell you after a lockdown for months and they want everybody to be happy and not tear to join up because maybe they were locking it down for better food, for certain rights, for a uh, cleaner environment, whatever the case may be. But after it was all said and done, in order to get the inmates to embrace the system again, they would give them chicken, watermelon, and butter biscuits. It's a cold game, man. The same game they play in there is the same game they play out here. And they lock it down, they shut down the commerce. The only place operating if they let you do a draw on lockdown is the commissary run by the institution. You guys don't see the similarities. And once they say that, hey, you can go about your business, you'll be so happy, so ready to skip to my loo that you'll take your watermelon, your chicken, and your biscuits. Because you don't know how to think outside of being a slave. Have you really peeped game? Have you noticed that the people who are healthy, who were running their own businesses, who were independent, have pretty much been placed in a box with a pacifier in their mouth? Time out? But the people who provide the alcohol, the weed, the fast food, they doing a the damn thing. They doing it. You, you can eat all that bullshit. You can drink all that poison. You can get as high as you want. Just, hey man, just don't say too much. Just go along with it. Rock to sleep. Rock to sleep. Mom, pops, you guys are no longer a factor. Because we got the big ones that everybody can go to for everything they need. You cannot praise the Lord. You cannot go to church. But you can go to Home Depot. You can go to Lowe's. You can go to Costco. But you can't go and work out. You can't um, exercise without, you know, otherwise, you're going to get punished. You're going to get punished. Put it on. Put it on. Be a good one. Good, be a good, good be, be, listen now. Be a good boy. Put it on. What about that guy over there? What about that guy laying on the sidewalk? What about them people over there? Don't worry about them. We're talking about you. You put it on. But they look like they're they're thriving. They're they're not they're not ill or complaining. We're not concerned with them. We're talking about you. Yeah, they talk about you out there. I used to sit back and read a lot of deep books when I was locked up and it had me up all night. And I would think, man, how did I let myself get tricked into 
this dumbass predicament. How did I let it happen? I'm I'm smart. I wasn't a, a bad student in school. I, I I'm I'm pretty conscious, I thought, but I had been rocked to sleep, just like majority of the people around here. Rocked to sleep. Don't know history. Too concerned with followers and likes and not really thinking about things of substance. Self-indulgence is king. You know, I try to I try to invoke a lot of self-awareness and, and just spiritual awakening. You know, I, I, I like to to really, you know, be stimulated by good conversation. I, I can't I can't, you know, force myself to, to just indulge in stupid nonsense, you know, as far as things that have no purpose but yet are entertaining. I, I just I can only do so much of that. You know, I'll, I'll watch a few things that just might be mindless just to kind of maybe veg out for a minute, but I can't do it on a regular basis, but a lot of people, that's their life, man. Mindless nonsense. Information that has no purpose, no significance, just takes up space in their head. See, I deleted all that shit when I was in the pen. I deleted a, a bunch of stuff, man. Deleted a bunch of garbage shit I had uploaded, things I had entertained as a youth, you know, certain things I was taught in school, I deleted all that shit. And when I started putting in some real programs as far as information, man, a lot of people used to say, damn, Big Herc, you on one. You out there. You, 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 uh, you, you, you know, you on some, some other time. Yeah, I'm on some other time, man. I'm on some other time. I'm on some other time because I see some other shit and I've read a lot. And I think I don't react as fast as I used to. I think first. Look at everything. Check out what what what's really behind what the illusion is putting out. Who's behind that illusion? I try to put it all together. And uh a lot of times what you find out, man, it just blows your mind. But, you know, you can't really share it because people will ostracize you for it. People will chastise you for it. You'll be called everything from a, a sellout to a coon to a, a kook, uh weirdo, uh, square, um, nerd, cornball. We get called a lot of names. You know, Uncle Tom, you'll be called a lot of things, but at the end of the day, you know who you are. You know where your heart lies. You can feel when something's not right. And when you go against the grain, when you think for yourself, a lot of people, man, get upset because it's hard to not be a follower. It's hard to be an independent, to be an individual. It's hard, man. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Teachers tell you to follow. Law enforcement tells you to follow. Everybody tells you to follow. But when you start thinking, when you start using your head, when you start getting around other people who are conscious, when you start speaking on the Gnostics, you know, if you know what I'm talking about, when you got that third eye and you're awakened, watch out, man. Oh, watch out, you want some other time. Just lacing you up, man. Don't fall for the watermelon chicken and butter biscuits, man. And, and, and let them rock you right back to sleep. Stay conscious, stay awake, man. Big Herc 916. Hey. work. Hey, see, well, y'all quarantine. I got that work.
cut the coronavirus is weak, man. Hey, go to the link in the description and get your limited edition. Coronavirus wig splitter shirts. Big Herc 916 getting now fresh out.